Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday so far. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and today I have a very exciting video to share with you. I put together a list of holiday gift ideas, ranging from really, you know, inexpensive and practical to more personal and more expensive. And I just, I'm so excited that we get to be in the holiday spirit for a little bit. And I just wanted to share some things with you. So with that, let's get into the video. So if you've been here before, you'll notice this is a different background than normal. This is actually my bedroom wall. So I recently wallpapered this and I'm hoping to do like a bedroom makeover uh, video eventually. It's just that I can't really afford to get everything the way I want it right now, so I'm saving for a few items. And once once it comes together, I'll let you guys in on it. But with that, I just will sit over here so I can insert some pictures on the screen. And let's get into it. So the first category is practical gifts. So we are in a pandemic still, so I thought I would mention that you could purchase masks for people. I have like a baby Yoda mask and I have a striped mask and it's just not going away and everyone will use them. You know, if they care about their health, they'll wear a mask. So that's definitely a good option. My next option is, uh, I'll take them off because I don't want to show my feet on camera. That's weird. Um, <laughs> Just some holiday Christmas socks. You can never go wrong with socks. Everybody wears them, you know, if they wear like sneakers or like shoes that aren't sandals, they wear them. Some people wear socks with sandals too, who knows? But socks is always a good idea and it's not gonna break the bank. The next practical gift idea is some blue light glasses. I actually got these ones from Amazon. They were recommended to me from a best friend who was studying for the LSAT online. So she bought these because she was gonna be spending a lot of time in front of the screen doing practice problems. And I'm so thankful that I have these because Many of you in 2020 know that lots of things are online and this kind of blocks the harshness of the UV light so that you can, you know, focus longer and not have as much eye strain and not get headaches. So I really recommend that. The next practical item is a water bottle. This water bottle was actually gifted to me from one of my best friends and it's a hydro flask which she even like custom decorated it with stickers that kind of describe me and my interests and my loves and my wants and desires and just some fun like inside jokes some spongebob you know everything uh no one's gonna ever complain if you get them a water bottle and most people need to be drinking more water it's super important to stay healthy and you need to stay hydrated the next gift is an educational category so if you know someone really well you could ask them what their favorite book is and you could purchase that for them i kind of steer away from getting people random books because because I know for me, if I get a book that I didn't really want, I may not end up reading it unless it's like really toward my interest. So if you know someone well enough and you feel like they would read the book, that's definitely a great option. Another option is to purchase a course for somebody. I've mentioned in my where to start learning how to code video that you can use Udemy, which is a website, and you can basically use it to learn anything. Anything from learning a new language to learning how to use Python. Uh, and like literally any course you would want to take and learn is there and I think they do a lot of discounts so you could only spend like it might only be like 13 to 25 dollars for like hours and hours of a course and at the end you get a certificate which is a good credential for your resume so I feel like Udemy is a good educational gift or if it's just you know you want to learn how to paint better or for a hobby they have courses on that too Similar to Udemy, there is Skillshare. So Skillshare works a little differently. You pay for a membership and then you have access to lots of courses rather than just paying for one specific course that you want. So you could ask for a Skillshare membership as well uh, and that'll be a good educational gift. The next gift is for people who are more artistic. So I know Amazon has a lot of different sets and good quality watercolor paint, gouache paint. I personally may try gouache paint out because 
I thought I could learn how to do watercolor, but honestly, it was really hard for me. So I may check out gouache paint because it's always fun to like do something more artistic for a little bit because my brain has been so much on the technical writing this semester. It's been a lot that it's nice to have more of an artistic, fun, kind of relaxing hobby. Um, so they have like paint by number kits. They also have a paint by sticker book where you just peel and stick the stickers on. So that one is like no mess and it looked really cool. So I'll put a picture of it here. So my next ideas are a little bit more practical. They are a phone case, a laptop case, and a keyboard protector. So most people today, if you're watching this video, you either have a phone or a computer. And I know for me, I, it's crucial that I protect my laptop and my phone because they're with me all the time. I travel with them uh, and I just need them because I can't afford to have to break it and then pay for a new one. So. Getting a good case and a good uh, protector is definitely worth the investment and it will make someone very happy on Christmas. They have so many different ways to customize them. I know Casetify is a brand that can customize cases with your name and images and that's a good place to check out. To explain what a keyboard protector is, this is more so for people with laptops where you can get like little crumbs in between the keys and sometimes the, the keys themselves get a little greasy or dirty. You can actually just put on this little protective covering and that will be what lays on top of the keys so that if that ever gets dirty, you can just clean that separately and then put it back on and it will protect the integrity of your keys so later you won't have any issues. The next gift, which will especially help people in cold places, is to purchase a heating pad or a personal desk heater. Uh, I've seen a few of my friends have one that are just kind of by their patio where they sit down outside. It's just a really good gift if people wanna be outside to enjoy the beautiful scenery, but also they don't wanna freeze, so you can have your little personal heater right next to you. I know for me to save money on heating my apartment, I don't necessarily need to put the heat super hot if I can just have this by my side. So it also will save you money too. The next gift idea is one of my personal favorites. It's custom ornaments. So I know for me, for my Christmas tree, I like to think of different things I can decorate with and put around my house and on my little mini tree, which I can't show you right now, but maybe I'll show it in another video. It's a cute little, little tree. This custom Christmas ornament, I thought it was fitting for the 2020 times that we are living in and I'm sure this year has been you know memorable not in the best way but I think it's cool when your ornaments reflect you know what the year was like and different things some more gift ideas for families are to buy your favorite card game or board game I drop listed a few games so that I could see when the price would change I know cards against humanity is a very fun game they do have like a clean family version and then also what do you meme I saw a Spongebob version and I had to get it because I love Spongebob and I know they have a family version of that game as well and I recently played it around Thanksgiving time and I really enjoyed it. So I highly recommend What Do You Meme as a game. The next gift idea is a little bit more expensive. It's to find a particular perfume or cologne that you really like or you know someone else likes and you could gift it to them. So I know for me, I've never really had an expensive perfume before, which is why I really want one this Christmas. And so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to pick one because I don't want to like you know, go in a busy store to test them out. So if you have any good perfume recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below uh, because I'm, I'm kind of really excited about that because I've never had something worth more than like 15 or 20 bucks. Also, another gift idea that I feel like anyone would be happy with is a wallet or a purse. Most people wanna keep things organized, they have different cards, and I feel like a wallet, especially one that like protects the integrity of your cards, is super important. And then along the same lines, if someone gave me like a nice clutch bag or an over-the-shoulder bag, I would really like that. So I feel like you can't go wrong with wallets or bags. And then I know for me personally, whenever I buy anything that I like, it usually falls under the category of makeup and jewelry. So I wanted to suggest that if you are getting a gift for your friends and they like jewelry, definitely get them some nice jewelry because I, again, if someone ever got me a necklace, even if it was ugly, 
I probably would really like it because I love jewelry. What I like is that you don't necessarily have to go with the most expensive brand of jewelry unless you really want to. So depending on your price range, you could find something really nice on Amazon or you could go to a more expensive place to buy it. I know I was looking into Ana Luisa because she um, is in, so her brand is very sustainable and ethical and they use recycled materials. So I was looking into that, but yes, they are a little bit more expensive. So I feel like if you know what you like and you fall in love with a piece, it's definitely worth the money. But if you're, <laughs> you know, if you're not sure if someone would like the gift, like if you're a guy and your girl, you're trying to get your girl something, but you really don't know if she would like it, I wouldn't say just drop all your money on it. I'd say investigate a little bit further, maybe ask her friends. I know for me personally, there isn't an issue with just telling someone exactly what I like and having them get it, but I know some people like surprises, so uh, just, you know, make your best judgment, and if you really don't know if they're gonna like it, always keep the receipt. Something I was gonna mention earlier, but now just remembered it, is to buy a planner or a bullet journal. So my channel started here and I was like, I'm gonna do bullet journals all the time. I love bullet journals and like I love planning my life. And then, you know, life happened and it got crazy and it was like really hard for me to make time for it. Uh, so I may end up going the traditional planner kind of route where everything's already pre-made and set up. Um, but I'm not sure yet, but I think most people do appreciate having like a physical planner or a calendar to keep track of their time and certain events throughout the year. So that's a good idea as well. The last item I wanted to mention falls under the fitness and health category. It's something that if I had the time, then I would totally buy it for myself, but right now I can't commit to it. Uh, there's a YouTuber, her name is Cassie Ho, and her channel on YouTube is Blogilates, and she is honestly my motivation for a lot of my workouts and she's just amazing and she has like different meal prep guides and stuff like that but what she has that stands out to me is the 90 day journey journal you know you decide to commit to yourself and you want to do 90 days of changing your life habits to improve your overall health and fitness. And so the journal is designed to keep you on track of your goals. And it's designed to not only show you how you know you go day by day with your eating and with your fitness, but it also allows you to reflect on how you're feeling emotionally and physically. And so you can look back through your 90 days and see like, what improvements are good, what's not going as well, and you can kind of see your progress. I feel like that would be like a really awesome gift, especially if someone is really ready to commit to their fitness, or maybe if they get the gift, then they'll feel motivated to commit more to their fitness. So I wanted to include that. Now, I think that is the last stuff that I really thought of that would make a difference for you guys. Hopefully some of these were new ideas that you haven't heard of before, and uh, I'm curious curious to hear what you guys are getting for Christmas or want for Christmas. I am just so happy that we are in December. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your Saturday and I will see you very soon.